Cutlass Mary, did you know on CHVN 95.1? Mike on the morning refresh at 7 to 38, minus 19 right now, downtown Winnipeg. Pardon me, it changed now, minus 21, and with the wind chill of minus 30, it is school day two. Kenny Warkentine, the associate pastor at Trinity Baptist Church, joins me this morning. How's it going, uh, Kenny? Yeah, pretty good. Are you used to being up this early in the morning and on the road? Yeah, I'm not quite, quite <laughs> not this quite early. Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's a brutally cold day out there, too. I saw you were all bundled up. How are you enjoying the cold weather? Are you digging it? Yeah, you know I'm not a cold weather lover. No, so. me either. Um, yeah. I went to your church yesterday. It's a cool, really old building in Osborne Village. It is. One of the things I loved about it is, besides all the stained glass, is you guys have the heat by uh, radiators there, right? We do. So you get the extra sound effects and the sermons. And exactly. Stuff. <laughs> and when you're really cold, you just sit on the radiator for a little bit. There so. you go. Warm up. That's your trick, <laughs> That's eh? That's the trick. That's what you were doing over there during worship. <laughs> <Yeah>. ah! <laughs> How long have you been at Trinity... Uh, uh, Kenny, uh, I think it's uh, my fifth year. Okay, very cool. Now uh, we were chatting yesterday. You guys had a really cool event this past weekend, and basically you doubled in size for an evening, didn't you? We did, yeah. Very cool. We're going to talk about that with Kenny right away while everybody's warming up, and we'll take another peek at our traffic first here on CHVN. CHVN 95.1, Michael Hart and Oh Holy Night. Mike Tom on the morning refresh. It is minus 21 right now downtown Winnipeg with a wind chill. Feels more like minus 30 and school day two. Kenny Workentine, associate pastor from Trinity Baptist Church in Osborne Village, joins us. Uh, Trinity, you guys got a nice, cozy, small congregation there at Trinity, don't you? We do. And how long have you been there again? Uh, roughly five years. Okay, five years. And yeah. so during that time, average attendance of 80 on Sundays? 80 to 100. 80 to 100, yeah. somewhere in there. So what happened this past weekend? It wasn't your church service that saw you guys double in size. It was something Saturday night. What went on there? Yeah, we Saturday night was our annual Christmas banquet. Okay. That we, we put on and we opened it up to the community. Nice. And it was a big event. And the community showed up. The community showed up. So not not just your own at congregants, but people from the neighborhood the, within a few blocks radius of the church kind of thing. Right. We had, yeah, we had a good mix of both. Nice. Kind of yeah. 50-50? About 50-50. So how did the community people find out about this then? Did you go door to door with invites or what did you guys do? No, it's it's word of mouth. And we, really? We, have, we run a food bank okay. uh, every two weeks. And so we put the invitation out to our food bank, and so a lot of people showed up. What was that like to see you've got your congregants mixed in with uh, community members? Did they all sit on separate sides of the building, or did they mix <laughs> at tables and get talking and stuff? You know, we had some good mixing this year. You know, it's, it's usually, I mean, they're coming in with their friends, so people sit down at their familiar place. Right. And Trinity people are familiar with the, each other, but we're trying to... Mix it up a little bit, and that's really great. So we, we're really forming some good, some good uh, friendships and relationships with people out in the community. So. Nice. So that's a great aspect of of Christmas because Jesus came to us, right? So exactly. we go out to the people in our neighborhoods and share good news with them. And good news, it doesn't mean you have to tell them about Jesus. Just share uh, meals with them, invite them into your homes or your church, yeah. right? Different things like that. Yeah. Very cool. How can we find out more information about Trinity? What's the easiest way? Uh, we are on Facebook. Okay. And trinitybaptistwinnipeg.com is a great place to find out. Perfect. Thanks so much, Kenny, for coming in this morning. Yeah, thank you. More news, weather, and sports on the way, and then music from Matt Brower and Stephen Curtis Chapman here on CHVN.